outside your morning. We got here, you got the big Don up front, first senior, first mate, getting things ready. We just got the boat launched, getting things in the boat, heading towards line L to get us some fuel. I'm down to like three quarters of a tank, which is about what, uh, eight gallons, nine gallons, something like that. I like to have two tanks going out. Pretty day, not much wind. Uh, tide looks like it's falling, and we have a lot of company. There's a lot of boats. All the gas stations had five, six, eight boats in them. So it's gonna be a good day to be on the water, folks. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. Big Lucy's out of trout. She needs some trout. It must be a Saturday, folks. Look at the people down here. They're all out here getting ready to go fishing. And enjoy everything that Delacro has to offer, folks. If you've never fished Delacro before, you got to come down here, I'm telling you. The fishing is off the chart. Captain's a little another story, but it, it'll get better. It should get better all the way until around mid-June, late June, then it should slow down a little bit. Thank the Lord fishing here is well occupied, folks. Family out here, got the little chairs, long chairs. Puppy bathrooms right over there, that little white building over there. And everything you need, folks, come on down here and get you some big old drums, big cats here. A lot of fishing down there. All right, guys, we just tried Lionel's. They were out of fuel. Ah, not good, not good. I think we got enough to make our trip though. And then over here at Sweetwater, they are stacked up. And I know I ain't trying to stop there and get fuel. They are stacked up. That time of the year, folks. Come on down and enjoy the fun. I have it running so long and my GPS is not working as usual. But uh, watch this talk here, folks. Watch this water going out of here. Uh, I really can't see it there. I can't see it there either. Must have uh, choked down the other spot. Before you can see it coming around that car, it's falling pretty good. This is the route out the middle way, folks. That show on to your right hand side, the little white stick marks everything. You can see how they're pumping all the land back up in there, trying to fill that land back up. And filling in all the openings between the uh, different breaks in the land. Yeah, 
about uh, pipeline right in front of us. The pile is up with it right now. And it's Oak River looking a little a low, folks. Low tide supposed to be done by now. It's just start coming in any time now. Water don't look that good. It's probably about a two plus here. Crazy. We gave up on R7. Figured we'd come out here and do a little uh, scouting. See how everything else looks around here. Uh, we're in Oak River right now. That's that canal right there goes to the Bar Canal, um, Misty Bay or whatever it is, Bay One Two Three, Point Lass. First fish of the day, folks. Boom! A little yeah, red, red. red, a little rat red. That's all right. Yep. It's a start, brother. Yep. It's right, a start. Folks, my first fish of the day, a little rat red. Got four spots on them. Hopefully, we can catch a few more. That'd be a crew, folks. They got uh, three kids, two adult men, and one female. That'd be a crew. They'd be searching for a place to fish. There he goes. Whip them up. Hey, hey folks, my first trout of the day. Here. Folks, first trout of the day. I asked the Lord to give me a sign. Look what he gave me. 8.35, folks. The axe is starting to pick up. I just called trout. My man up front's got something. I think it's some big red. Yep, nice red. Nice red for Lucy. That's a stump jumper there, folks. Folks, there's my red, folks. Another nice little red. Woo! But that man, folks, that man, my second red of the day. I'm having fun out here. Another little red, folks. Fell prey to the Matrix Shad Lemon Drop, nice and slow on the bottom. Hey, right, folks, you can see it down about eight inches. It's just a little brown looking. But I, I'd give it a, a, a three, minus three. Not that bad. As you can see, the water's coming in. Things really slowed down quite a bit. All the bait went away. We had a lot of bait this morning, but not much bait, not much activity. Activity. We got some competition. We got about two boats around us. So we're gonna hang tight here. A few more minutes. All right, folks. This is Point Fiend. You can see that water. You can see that lure down 14 inches. Totally different. I'd give this a six plus. This is definitely a six plus on the scale of one to seven. You can see it all the way down there. All right, folks, just caught one. Nice little red. Didn't even know I had him. So I started reeling in, he was on there. <laughs> Make sure you had lemon drop, three eight ounce right, head. Folks, that's why you don't swim around in Delacro anymore. I'll let, I'll let your uh, lavadors go out and try to get the ducks for you. He's about an eight footer, solid eight footer. Hey, folks, that's number five for me. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots on him. That's a good sign. See that crab in the water? I like that when I see the crab swimming in the water. Very good sign. All right, folks, that's what we got today. We got the three red keeper reds and one trout. Four, four keeper reds and one trout. <clears throat> folks, it's Sunday morning, bright and early. I wasn't uh, feeling too good, so I decided not to go. Plus, the water wasn't looking good. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, as far as the wind goes, it's not that bad a day. And uh, I already see three boats along the trussels. But, uh, between my back and not feeling good, I figured I'd just rest up. The old body's just telling me, Stan, you can't do it anymore, but. Have to slow down and take it easy. Uh, 
tide must be falling. Everybody's fishing on the west side. Don't see any trolls. That it, it, that in itself is a sign. Do not see any trolls. Now it's beginning to look like more like uh, the trout might be in. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, seven boats for eight boats right along that boat. Still not one trolling. The water still gotta be dirty with all that big flow we had. All in all folks, they had 26 plus, plus boats along this vessel. And I'm over here by the point right now and they got about 30 or plus launched. And there's three more launching right now. There's one there, one over there, and one just back over there just launched. I sure hope they got uh, clean water out there, but I, I think it's still gonna be dirty myself. A couple more days before we get back to normal. Anyway, I'm feeling better as our day goes along. Getting down, I see all this, I'm getting the urge to go tomorrow, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, we'll see what happens, folks. Stay tuned. The man with the right idea, look at that gnat hat. Let's go keep the gnats off of him. The boy over there is trying to get his boat off the boat, a boat off the trailer, and he's not back down far enough. This ought to be interesting. Another one pulling up the launch, nice looking sea fox. The boy over there is still trying to get his boat off the trailer. I don't know why he won't back up. Still trying to get the trailer off the boat, uh, boat off the trailer, and he won't back down. Tried the motor, jumped out, tried the motor. Now he's back in the truck. Now he's gonna back it down. Guess what, folks? Oh, he's pulling up. Oh, he wants to jerk it off. That's what it was. He wants to just jerk it off. There you go. My, 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 my.